In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom pillows in Photoshop. What I'm going to do is basically create a Photoshop version of the pillow that you see here. And I'm going to do it all in under three minutes. So if you want to follow along with me, make sure that you look in the description for a link to my website where you can download the files that I'll be using in this tutorial. All right, let's jump right into it. This is the background image. You can see it's just simply a pillow and I have the Photoshop logo on top of that. The first step is to isolate the area where the pillow is. And you can do so very easily by selecting the quick selection tool from the toolbar and click and drag over the pillow to select it. The selection is pretty good. What I'll do now is create a group and I'll call this group design because this is where my pillow design will go. And in that group, I'll create a layer mask so that I can place my logo inside of that group. So anything that goes into that group will be confined to the layer mask. Before I do anything else, I want to create the background color. And of course, the background color will be the light blue. Again, look at the pillar right over here. That's what I'm going for. So what I'll do is select the eyedropper tool, select that blue, and then go into the new adjustment layer icon and select solid color. Photoshop will create the solid color fill with that blue and you can press OK. Next, you can take this layer and drag it below the logo. And then you can select the logo and press Ctrl T on Windows, Command T on the Mac to transform, click and drag and scale it out like so. I'm going to collapse the group. This next step is very important. I'm going to change the blending mode of that group so that it blends with the pillow and you can actually see the texture of the pillow. And this is going to work because the background is white. It's off white, but pretty much white. And I'm going to change the group's blending mode to multiply. See that? As soon as I change it into multiply, the darker areas that create the shadows come through. And if I zoom in, you'll see that also the texture of the pillow comes through. So this is a fantastic way of applying designs into pillows or clothing. And what I'm going to do now is open up the group, select the logo, and I'll press Control T on Windows, Command T on the Mac to transform, right click and select warp. And I can drag on these corner handles to distort it so that the logo matches the contours of the pillow a little bit better. It wouldn't look so realistic if it was completely straight. I'll click on the check mark to commit the changes. And this is my final result before and after. Now, I know this was a simple example, but you got to learn a couple of really powerful things. Number one is how a layer mask on a group can be more efficient than simply applying a layer mask to multiple layers because one layer mask controls everything in that group. And also how using the multiply blending mode up against something that is in a white background will make it seem like that particular texture or design is on that surface because the colors are applied, but the shadows from the layer below come through, making it seem more realistic. Let me know what you think about this technique in the comments below. Make sure that you click on that like button if you enjoy the tutorial. And if this is your first time at the Photoshop training channel, click on that subscribe and notification buttons. My name is Jesus Ramirez. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to learn more about placing designs onto surfaces like clothing or a shirt, then make sure that you check out this video. I'm sure that you'll really enjoy it.